All new this morning, people who rely on MARTA say the constant delays are leaving them wondering, is the bus going to show up? What a terrible feeling. You're trying to get to work on time. You've got somewhere to go and you don't know when you're going to get there. MARTA says it's having problems hiring drivers, so they're going to have a job fair tomorrow. Jerry Carnes is live at the Lindbergh MARTA station. Jerry, MARTA has been suffering from a driver shortage for a long time now. Good morning, Cheryl. They have indeed. I've been watching the list of bus delays grow on the MARTA service Twitter account. As a matter of fact, uh, just a short time ago, MARTA tweeted out select train trips may be canceled because of staffing shortages. This is not an issue that's unique to MARTA. There's been a nationwide transit driver shortage since the onset of the pandemic. It sometimes leaves passengers waiting and wondering. At his bus stop on Ralph David Abernathy Boulevard, Kingston Palmer has learned to bring patience and a backup plan. More than once, the wait here has been more than he can bear. I waited an hour for a bus and it didn't show. You have to get up two hours ahead of time to get to work on time just in case if it doesn't come, you can find another avenue to get to work or, or do whatever else you have to do. The MARTA service Twitter account is an almost daily list of buses and trains that won't make their appointed stops. Most of it due to a shortage of drivers. Since November, the transit agency has reduced the number of vacancies from 187 down to 140. Through job fairs and an offer of a $3,000 signing bonus, MARTA has found a group of new drivers preparing to go on the road. We've got 150 operators in the pipeline. Now, when I say pipeline, that means they're in their safety um, certification and driving classes. So 150 is a really good number. That training will take several more weeks. MARTA is on track to be back to full staff by August, but could lose more drivers by then. So the agency continues to recruit. Any given month, you know, we lose about 3% or so of our operators. And that's just natural. You know, every business loses folks. So what we've got to do is we've got to cover that, but now we've got to cover above. Kingston Palmer understands. They need people. Everybody needs people in the, in the the whole country need more employees. Along with that understanding, he'll continue to think of a plan B as he waits at the bus stop. Now you have to have a commercial driver's license to be a transit driver. MARTA is now paying for the training required to get a CDL instead of hiring people, only people who already have a commercial driver's license in hopes that that will help them build up their staff. Again, they're hoping to be back to full staff in August if all goes well. All right, Jerry, not a good situation for people, but we see the efforts they're putting in. And you might be considering public transportation these days because of this gas prices in Georgia. We continue to see these record highs. We checked for you this morning. The state average for a gallon of regular gas is already up four cents higher than it was just yesterday. According to AAA, it is now at four dollars and thirty seven cents. I saw four sixty nine this morning. Ugh. This average is the highest on record.